Hello, my name is DJ Miles and I'm an anime manga YouTuber. I received an email from YouTube saying they had taken down one of my Chainsaw Man videos and I received a copyright strike because of it. The takedown was issued by Shueisha, we'll talk about them later. Now, for those of you who don't know, three copyright strikes mean your channel is terminated. However, spoilers, I won my counter notification claim, I got my video reinstated, please go watch it and the strike has been lifted from my channel. So I wanted to share my experiences with you all on how to combat a situation like this, if unfortunately it has happened to you as well. But I wanna make it very, very clear, this is not legal advice. I repeat, this is not legal advice. I wanted to make this video for my fellow anime manga content creators out there because there really aren't that many videos addressing these kinds of issues within the community. It's a sensitive topic, it's frightening, albeit even a bit embarrassing when it happens to you, but shedding light on this matter can collectively make us better equipped with how to handle ourselves overall and in the future. Now let's actually discuss the meat and potatoes of this video, which is how do you combat a copyright strike? You have two options. Option number one is to contact the party that removed your video and ask them to retract their takedown. Even if the chance is small, I suggest to reach out anyway because you may get lucky and they may actually remove the strike. Sadly, it didn't work for me in this instance, so option number two, which is what I did, is to submit a counter notification. If you submit a counter notification, there are several important things you should be aware about. First is that you are now legally saying you are ready to go to court with the person who strike down your video and channel. And as a result, you must hand out your personal information like your full legal name, address, and contact information. If you aren't comfortable handing out your personal information, it's completely understandable. Just keep in mind, then the only route, sadly, at this point, is for you to wait 90 days for the strike to be removed on its own, but you should also be aware that the video that was taken down will never be back up again. In any case, if you proceed to move forward with the counter notification, get ready to write a professional and sound defense as to why you believe your video falls under fair use. When you get here, don't just say, my video falls under fair use, I did nothing wrong, because YouTube will reject that. Ethan from H3H3, a big YouTuber, gave a good description as to what to say in this situation and why YouTube has these things set up in the first place. That video will be posted down below as well. Once you submit the counter notification and it successfully goes through, YouTube will email you and inform you to wait 10 to 14 business days to see if the claimant will respond. Now, while I can't guarantee anything beyond this point, Point because each case is different for everyone, the claimant typically won't respond and your video will be reinstated within two to three weeks. There are instances where a certain portion of a video may be blocked or not allowed to be shown for whatever reason and as a result, the video can be blocked. Simply put, a copyright claim. However, YouTube will allow you to trim or cut out the copyrighted portion and as a result, the video can be viewed to the public once more. Now, this gives me the opportunity to learn as a content creator what I can and cannot do for future videos. Here's another example. Example, I received a copyright claim, not a strike, when I reacted to all the One Piece openings. Look at this stupid face. Anyway, as you can see here, I can't monetize this video because obviously I don't own the rights to the songs I am reacting to. There is a compromise, however, where even if I can't monetize the video, it can still be shown and whatever views are garnered from the video, that money will be placed in the pockets of the people who own the track. It's a 50-50 compromise, take it for what it is, I'm okay with it. Now, I can trim out the segments of every song used, but that would defeat the purpose of the actual content itself because then there wouldn't be anything I'm reacting to. Now, just because I didn't receive a copyright strike doesn't mean I should submit a counter notification in this instance. Because if I challenge this, knowing that I don't own the rights to the song, Despite some of you may be arguing that this is fair use, legally this wouldn't hold in my favor and your favor and someone fact check me here, but I believe if you do submit a counter notification and you lose, you'll receive a second strike on your channel. With those two instances, YouTube tells me what's wrong and how I can learn the errors of my way. So I repeat, YouTube, if you have these systems in place, how the hell can someone just come out of nowhere, claim they represent X company and strike an entire video down to any content creator out there without them defending themselves properly. Anyway, I hope this video has better equipped you all out there on how to deal with this stuff because it can be scary and YouTube throws a lot of legal jargon that makes it sound all the more dire. If you feel confident that your video was given a false strike, challenge it. You worked hard for that video. I wish nothing but the best to each and every one of you content creators out there on your YouTube endeavors. Let's raise more awareness together on topics like these so everyone can succeed. That's all I wanted to say. Take care, guys.